Liu Bei successfully repels Cao Cao's invasion of Hanzhong. With this victory, he takes for himself the title of Lord of Hanzhong. In Jing, Guan Yu receives word of Liu Bei's victory and decides the time was right to attack Wei. He chooses Fan Castle as his target. With that, he fell right into Cao Cao's trap. By drawing Guan Yu out and defeating him, Cao Cao aimed to disrupt the fragile balance between the three kingdoms. All else had been to ensure the success of the campaign against Guan Yu. And to do so, he enlisted the aid of Sun Quan, who had long desired the return of Jing province. Victory was made possible due to your efforts. What should I do? Yes. 
I'll do my best. Count on me. No enemy can stand against us now. Advance! Thank you. It's an honor to serve you. This victory was made possible due to your efforts. Yes. Messengers report that Master Guan Yu has successfully executed a flood attack on Fan Castle and has claimed control of the area. They say his children fought bravely alongside him as well. Oh, that is wonderful news. It is splendid to hear that Guan Yu's children have grown up so strong and dependable. The future of the kingdom looks bright, Fa Zheng. Congratulations, my lord. Fa Zheng, you look worse every day. You must take some time to rest and recover. Master Jugo Leong, I wonder if I could be allowed to talk to Master Liu Bei. Alone for a while. Would you mind excusing us? Master Liu Bei. Please refrain from telling me I need to rest in front of the other retainers. Treating me as an invalid only exposes me to either unnecessary sympathy or ridicule. I'm simply worried about you. I cannot afford for anything to happen to you, you know. Death comes to us all. You should save your concern for the future of the land. Master Guan Yu is in Fan Castle. If Wu has designs on removing him from Jin Province, they will not let this opportunity pass. Fa Zheng, do you seriously believe that Wu will betray us, join forces with Wei, and slay Guan Yu? Cao Cao paid a visit to Hong Zhong. That is a clear indication that some kind of agreement was reached between them. Wu has always desired division of the land in two parts. Shu has always been an obstacle to that. If it were me, 
I would get rid of Master Guan Yu first. But then... Then we must warn Guan Yu at once. We must send reinforcements. That's exactly what Wei wants us to do. If we send men and leave Yi province underprotected, they will break through Hong Zhong and come straight for Chengdu. The die has already been cast. It cannot be stopped now until the world sees what number's been rolled. But... but Guan Yu... It... Master Liu Bei, I will give you one piece of advice. If it does come to pass that Master Guan Yu is slain, you must not allow yourself to pursue revenge. If you had a villain like me by your side, then it might just work. But without me, you're simply too kind. Fa Zheng? Fa Zheng! The one who was tricked into giving away straw making secrets. I'm sorry for being so pessimistic before. Things turned around. Her shop failed. Poor copies that didn't get the job done. I forgot just how hard I had to work to reach that level of quality myself. Starting business again, I really feel the truth now. The kindness that was in those straw shoes. That's what moved me so deeply. Actually, I need your help. Not thank you enough. Please take this. This victory was made possible due to your efforts.
Oh no! Sorry about that. Thanks! Yes. Please be careful. No, Guan Yu. Guan Yu! How could you go first and leave your brothers behind? I beg your forgiveness, my lord. If we had been stronger... No, Master Liu Bei. The blame lies entirely with me. I knew there was always a chance that Wu would attack Master Guan Yu. I should have sent him more troops to prepare for that eventuality. No one here must bear the blame for Guan Yu's death. This was an act of evil and treachery by the men of Wu. The only one who deserves our hatred and our vengeance is Sun Quan. Brother, what's happened? Why did Sun Quan betray us? I... but we... we swore an oath! We swore that though we were born on different days, the day of our death would be one and the same. We have lost more than just Master Guan Yu. Master Guan Ping and Master Zhou Zan wanted to see us build a land of benevolence too. And after taking Hung Zhang and forcing Wei to the brink, I thought that day was close. Everyone. I would like you all to observe a period of mourning for Guan Yu, Guan Ping, Zhou Tsang, and all the soldiers who fell at Fan Castle. They were brave men who fought and died for our dream of a land of virtue and benevolence. That dream, however, does not die with them, but lives on in us. Fa Zheng said that I am incapable of vengeance. But I am not a saint. I've lost my beloved brother to an act of treachery and craven cowardice. I cannot simply sit here and do nothing! Sun Quan! This debt will be paid! Guan Yu, god of war, fell at my castle. As promised, Sun Quan receives a large portion of Jing province for cooperating with Cao Cao. However, the cost of breaking the alliance with Shu and killing Liu Bei's sworn brother would not be small. With the alliance gone, the united stance against Wei fell apart. Elsewhere, Having witnessed the changes he had planned, Cao Cao quietly drew his last breath. He entrusted the future to his son, Cao Pi. The world of the Three Kingdoms was about to enter a new phase. I hear more and more voices within the castle, saying that we should attack Wu. Not only the soldiers, but the ordinary people of Yi province are also calling for us to avenge Master Guan Yu. Master Liu Bei, I do not think it wise to allow anger to drive us to conflict with Wu. We must repair our relationship with Wu and return the land to its state of division in three parts.
As a ruler, that is most certainly what I should do. But as a brother... Brother! What are you doing just standing around? It's time for battle! I'm going to crush every last one of those ooh scum! I understand your pain, Master Zhang Fei. But we cannot just... What would you know? The three of us swore an oath that we would die on the same day! Our sworn brother, who shared our dream and fought alongside us, has been cruelly betrayed and killed! We can't just let that stand! Master Zhang Fei, calm yourself, please. If we wage war with Wu now, Master Liu Bei's future will be compromised. Surely neither you nor Master Guan Yu would want that. You want to know what I want? I want to destroy Wu! They showed no respect for us or for our brother's dream! We don't need them in our brother's land! Isn't that right, brother? Until now, I have fought with a singular desire to save the people I see suffering in front of my eyes. But at the same time, I have seen so many die before me, sacrificed for my sake. Guan Yu fought to the very last and died for the sake of the dream we three shared. It is my duty to bring that dream to reality. Zhuge Liang, Zhao Yun, prepare for battle at once. It is clear that the men of Wu do not share our vision. In which case, they must be slain. I must slay them for the sake of those who have died for me. Master Liu Bei, I implore you. Do not make me repeat myself. Make your preparations. We will go to war against U. Master Liu Bei is, is a man, man whom his vision is everything. everything. There, there is, is nothing, nothing I can, can say, say to dissuade him from, from this course, course of action. action. But, but, Fa Zhang, you, you are, are just, just the kind, kind of explosive influence, influence who might, might have been able, able to do so. so. Master Zhu Yang. Hey! 